Mercury are lighting up Shortland Street on its 25th birthday. Pop on the kettle, crank up the TV and settle in to enjoy tonight's episode of Shorty. If I go down, you and your whole Warner family are coming with me. I can't risk him hurting the people I love. Yeah, and you can't stay with him either. He drugged me with dyes, Pam, so why not do the same to him? Because you're not him. You just can't stay away from my wife, can you? Told you to get out of town, didn't I? I hold off on the fun part. This time I want to watch. How'd you do that? Uh, I don't know. Maybe you've got a virus, or it could be something else. All right. If it'll shut you up, I'll get a checkup. When? Well, not tomorrow. Harry's leaving. It's my birthday party. What's wrong with today? Was it hassling you about nothing? My blood results. You saw Eve, the oncologist. Well, because I already suspected. It's cancer. I have leukemia. Happened. Good morning. Oh, strange dreams. All darkness. And then this sudden bright light. Where the dickens am I? I'm Shawn Street Hospital. You're a doctor? Well, I am applying for med school. My son Stuart's a doctor, in America no less. Where's Chris Warner? I'm here for his 50th celebrations. Well, you know the big boss. I was receptionist here before you were born, I suspect. Uh, I think you're supposed to be staying in bed, Mrs. Brash. Oh, You've been admitted. Poppycock. I'm as fit as a fiddle, even if I have snapped a few strings. Well, I can get a doctor. And what I need is a cup of gumboot, a bran biscuit, and a clean taxi, in that order. Hi. Can't stop. Birthdays to attend. Are you sure you're up for a party? I've had 50 years to get ready. And less than five minutes to absorb what's happening. I'll be fine. Chris. Kylie's organising most of it anyway. And who's taking care of you? I'm not an invalid yet. Please tell me you've told them. You can't do this alone. You think I should drop the C-bomb on Sass while she's in the middle of a marriage breakdown? Or on Harry, the day he's due to leave for Japan? You think he'd go? Maybe he should stay. Why? Say it. You don't think I'll make it. I didn't say that. You think I'll be dead by the time he comes home? If you don't get the help that you need... Don't bury me yet. This is serious. You think I don't know that? today they're getting worse okay is everyone okay, okay. is there any damage uh me hot coffee on crunch That's right. you both me or my fetus both of course it's barely a 4.0 still swarms of tremors <laughs> smatterings at best yeah but in ferndale Bad feeling about this, Eve. I don't think you should go tramping today look a minor shake is hardly enough to incite spontaneous fetal expulsion i wasn't thinking that your face has got miscarriage all over it. Ashley, at Chris's 50th. It is time for everyone to move on. Uh-uh. After what she did to Finn, no, I am putting my foot down. Like that ever works. Can I put her down? I'm kidding. All right, this is me caving in and backing off. Well, not too far. I hope you're the one chaperoning her. Uh-huh. I'm working, remember? Great. So I'm taking the beast to the ball. First? Oh, your phone. Why aren't you at home helping your wife? Because I'm here stopping my sister from killing her husband. I don't know what you're talking about. Have you lost your mind? Well, clearly you have. What's that? Nothing. Frank! What's this? Sherbet. Sass? Coke. Really? That's not. How did you find out? Your boyfriend told me. He's not my boyfriend, and he had no right to go blabbing. He cares about you. If he cared, he'd help me. Commit murder? It's self-defense. I'm killing Mason with the same pills he gave me. Don't do this. If I don't, he'll take down our whole family. He can try it. He could ruin Chris and Finn, but you don't care about that, do you? Sass, you're not a killer. You won't succeed. And once Mason finds out you've tried, you'll end up like Cochrane. I will succeed, because unlike you, I have more than two brain cells trapped together. Not even if that's true. How do you think Dad would feel once you're locked up in a jail cell? That's not going to happen. Listen to yourself. 
You've blown a fuse in your brain. Well, it's a perfect defence if I get caught, and I won't. I've been to jail. You're not a crim. Exactly. I'm a damsel in distress, pushed to the brink of insanity by a ruthless, vicious, powerful man. No jury would convict me. Not again. God, you're as pathetic as hawks. Water for the dehydrating dad. Oh, tough goodbye, huh? I always cried air boys. Should have seen Harry. Pretending like he didn't know him. Well, he started texting in the middle of it. He's gonna miss you. Yeah, well, I'm gonna miss him. Oh, bollocks. Hey, now it's only a few months, right? Come on, it's his baby. Well, he's not in nappies. He can look after himself better than most adults. You're acting like we never see him again. You okay? Chris? I don't want more babies. Oh, what's a butcher chopping off my balls? Well, then you are not coming near me with that bloody thing. Chris, oh my God, what's wrong? Your boobs in the space isn't going to help anything. Oh, I'm fine. I haven't seen him in, like, decades, and he's all upset. Oh, look at him. Probably just a midlife crisis. Uh, really, it's not. You see, we're not all terrified of ageing, Nick. Is it, Rachel? Because if it is, trust me, you're better off single. Finally, she says something sensible. You are embarrassing yourself in front of... Who are you? His son. The criminal or the surgeon? Obviously the surgeon. I was being polite. Just Finn is fine. Nice to meet you. Nick Harrison, Rachel's first husband. Oh. It was the 90s. It was a strange time for everyone. Remember Creed? <laughs> I'm Waverly. Nice house. Stink party. Oh, that's why you're upset. You've just realised that all of your friends were really just Rachel's friends. Same here, mate. Without Wave, I'd be a hermit. Oh, he's already got the fingernails to prove it. But at least I'd still have my balls. Stop saying balls! Well, actually, the party hasn't officially started. Yeah, you're early. Oh, thank goodness for that. <laughs> well, never mind, Chris. You might be single, miserable and friendless, but we'll make this a party you'll never forget. Hell yeah. <laughs> you guys got a funnel? <laughs> scared of the big bad earthquake. Now what? We'll find out. Oh, all this because I slept with a guy's wife before he even was with her. Mate, that's harsh. Nah, we're gonna throw your body to a bunch of free-range garbage guts pigs. That's harsh. Oh, clever. That's a boss for you. Oh, what's the hold-up? Come on! Come at me! Chill out, princess. We're waiting for the boss. I think he just ticks <laughs> Mate, calm down. The more you fight, the slower this is gonna be. Do yourself a favor. Take a few minutes to enjoy the view. Because you're a long time dead, buddy. It was hardly a disaster. It was a teeny tiny tremor. But you're okay. <sighs> As if you care. Well, we may be technically estranged at the moment, At doesn't the it? moment, at the forever more like, a thoughtless, selfish, backstabbing, highly obsessed coward like you. <coughs> yes, the hospital reception desk should be a sanctuary of professions. Well, that's you told. Piss off, Damien. <gasps> this hospital's gone to rack and ruin since I left. You used to work here? Indeed I did, before becoming a three-term undefeated member of parliament. You're Marjorie Brash. I could totally help with the playlist, too. <gasps> no. Maybe. Don't worry, Grants. I won't embarrass you. Too much. Mrs. Brash, what are you doing out of bed? Well, I can't very well attend Dr. Warner's party strapped to a mattress. Well, you can't go at all, Marge. Oh, but I did get an invitation. I know, but if, if you can just wait over here, I will grab your wheelchair. Well, at least someone in this hospital understands customer service. Even the, uh... Old buddy has been invited to the party. Curse on Chris Warner. And a stinking birthday. And uh, could you tell Mrs. Brash that her son's looking for her? Yeah, I got it. Uh, careful, she's trying to set people up with him. Mm. Maybe he's hot. I've got a face like a drop pie. Oh! Oh, oh you squashed my peonies. Excuse me. You're my mum's favourite. Right. Is that uh, Harper, is it? How did you know that? No, you. You. I do. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> There, I'm looking for my mum. Oh, there you are. Oh, <laughs> how are you, mum? Oh, I mustn't grumble. <laughs> oh. Oh, Harper, meet my son, Stuart. Hi. Hi. Joy. Oh, look at you. Oh, thank you. Dr. Love. 
this up go a bit. <coughs> Thanks. They're not so stink after all. Rachel left you with some mates. How about we stop bringing up Rachel all the time? Hell yeah, she's moved on. Why can't you? Is she with someone else? Nick. No. You just said. Waverly said not to. I'm just going to chop my nads off for sure now. Welcome, welcome to 50 fabulous years of Chris Warner. The lounge is right through there. Yeah, I know. I'm his daughter. That's it. Yeah. No. No, we are not going to evacuate the CBD just because the ground's a bit shaky. Yeah, we'll evacuate the idiot scientists instead. You look stressed. He's worried about the tremors. Well, he knows the game's over. I bet the cops are days away from arresting him. I don't know what you're doing. I'm just trying to help. You yeah, don't. Fine then, do it. What? Well, no one's watching. Slip the pills in his dream. Right here, right now. Uh, uh, totally. Exactly. Anyone could have spotted his dream. Best chance you're gonna get. Go and do it. Stop it. Can't do it, can you? I can. Just need time to prepare. You know this feeling? Like you want to spew and cry at the same time as you go through all this? You're gonna feel like that for the rest of your life. Keep her away from Goldilocks. How? Fifty bucks enough. Done. Happy birthday, boss. Wow. Where's Harper? Holding the fort. Avoiding me or avoiding you? I hear you having some problems. Just the one problem. Harper's a wonderful woman, true? Yeah, I know. So don't make my mistake. Don't let anyone or anything come between you. <laughs> Oh, how's that for service? I need to lock you down. No more wandering. I'm poorly, but not seen now. <laughs> Mum? Uh, I'll see where the surgeon's up to. Thank you. Uh, you should go, and I'll meet you at Chris's in a few hours. I'm not going anywhere. And neither are you. Oh, both of you. Stop fussing. Marge, you're in hospital for a reason. Yeah, now what's going on? You had a fall? Yes, but it's no big deal. She's lying, isn't she? You should wait and talk to the surgeon. Please, go to the party. Is it serious? Um... I did a CT on her last night. And? It showed an aortic aneurysm. That means that you're... I know what it means. What, so you knew? Well, I've had it for ages. It could be fatal. Like most things. Well, you have to operate. Oh, it's not worth it. Mum. Look, the surgeon will give you a few options, but in the meantime, you know what I'm going to say. Yes, yes. I'll stay in the hospital. Thank you. Oh, are you looking at me? I can come back. No, no. Um, I will see you soon. Who? The guy who couldn't stop looking at you. I don't know what you're talking about. Hmm. I'm not saying Harper is going to meet someone else. You kind of are. I'm just saying. Don't take her for granted. I never do. Or anything else. We're all just hanging on by a thread. Man, hitting this half ton is really getting to you, isn't it? It's not just that. Are you OK? We said no drinking. You said no drinking. I also said I didn't want you here at the party. You don't even want me in Ferndale. I never said that. Not to my face, just a Harper and Finn and everybody else. Ashley, no drinking and no Finn. No problem. Ashley, get... So she didn't hassle Finn. So what? So you owe me 50 bucks. Get her back in here and I'll pay you. Hey, it's your dad's special day. You look so miserable. I guess. I'm serious, I mean, there's something wrong. Don't worry, everyone. It's just a tremor. 4.0 tops. Now it's a party. That's what I said. It's <laughs> nothing to be happy about, Nick Harrison. Oh, hello. Well, you heard, boy, it was just a little tremor. Yep, just a little contraction. What? It's happening, Ali. <sighs> False alarm? No, I'm not sure. This just, this feels different. Oh, it's too early. Mm-hmm. It's probably nothing. Glorious. No, no, Loose. no, no, you're not. We are not ruining Chris's party. We're just going to sneak out real quietly, okay? Yeah, sure. Okay. Anything we should know about? What do you mean? The tremors. Is the big one coming? Look, I know as much as you. Hey, uh, has anyone heard from Hawks? To like him? Yeah, Harper just called, and apparently he didn't show up for a shift. Why didn't Harper call me? You don't even know who he is. <laughs> what have you done to Hawks? Nothing. 
Tell me he's okay. I thought you two were ancient history. We are. He's not part of this. The wages of sin. What does that mean? Mason? Let's just enjoy the party, shall we? Did it? I said your prayers. Why bother, eh? God can't save you now. receiving multiple reports of a massive volcanic eruption in Ferndale. We are still working to gather more information and will continue to cover this. It's like the end of the world. Tell them I'll be there as soon as I can. Why do I even have staff if they don't do what they're told? Maybe they don't trust you anymore. It's your mother here. Look, we're just ringing to say that we're safe. For now. And we don't want you to worry about us, OK? But if we do die, Tina's the boss. Oh, and don't tell the dogs. Yeah, yeah, tell them we've gone to a farm up north. And Salika, don't you punch your brother anymore, OK? Ranger, don't forget the cream for Fluffy's ex -mother. Oh, yes, it's on the top shelf of the... <sighs> you think he heard? I hope so. We're going to the hospital, right? They're going to need us. Yeah, all hands on deck. Boy, the safe if we go together. No, I'm not going to the hospital. Well, where are you going? Boy, you're not going to the mountain. I have to save them. If Eve was up there when it erupted, she's already dead. The hospital, the people, they need us. We have to do our duty, you included. Right, are we ready to go? You're not going out in that. Yes, I am. You stay here. Stuff that. Hey. Yeah. Is everyone ready? Yeah. yeah. And we stick together. Oh. Big Bang knocked me over. Shock to the system. Love like fire. <coughs> Weren't you guys at the Bombers? What kind of weird ass party was it? <laughs> Mum, where are you? At home. Oh, stay there. Don't go outside, okay? We already did. What? It was kind of scary. It was pitch black and there were sirens everywhere. Safe inside. Yeah. What's that? Freaking it's rocks on the roof. Mum, there's rocks falling on the roof. Better than falling on your head. Mm. Well, I've got to go. I love you very much. Mm. Okay, I've got you. Um. Hello, Mum? It's Mum. Are you guys all right? What's oh, the motor's erupting? Is that your father? It's Nicole. Oh. Yeah. Don't worry, Leanne's sealing up the windows and doors. Uh, why? Pyroclastic flow. He thinks the air is poisonous. I keep trying to tell him. She's not listening to me. I did a project on it. I haven't heard anything about poisonous gases. Uh, no, well, that's keeping him busy. Yeah. Sure, you guys are all right? Uh, you no, know, you know, we're fine, but... but... Mum, 
Hello? Phone not working? Oh, cut off. Can I get hold of this one? Is it night time? It's just a storm, sweetheart. Okay, well, let's get the popcorn popping and put a movie on. Walking out the window here at Virtual FM, it is a popcorn popping. It's a loose white breeze. Meal. It's fine. They're not real contractions. It's just breaks and hicks. It was last time. She's coming. No. Look, we're going to be okay. <sighs> All of us. All of us. I need to get help. How? We're stuck. I'm gonna go find a way through. No, you cannot leave me here. Don't. You're safe here, Luz. I promise. It's real patchy. Oh my god. Do you guys smell anything weird? No, why? All these posts. People reckon the volcanoes poison the air. How? I don't know. Like people are like fine one minute and then they just fall over. Like dead. Serious? Yeah. What do we do? <sighs> it's not safe. It's better here than outside. We should go to the hospital. No. It might be safer. Calm down. No! You get in the doorways! It's like an earthquake! Just, it's the safest place! It's just the rock shower. It'll be over real soon. Leroy! This is nothing. We who knows how many fried lungs and crush injuries out there. Can the ammo's not get through? They're trying, but it's chaos. Uh, are the phones back up? Just the RT. Are you okay? Uh, I can't get hold of Esther. She's yours, isn't she? Uh, yeah, but she's taken Tilly out for a walk. The phones won't be done forever. Keep trying. I need to know they're okay. Did you go? The first of the ambos is on their way. Get ready. Yeah, go now. Where? Be back. I promise. Look, we're about to be slammed. How? Need a hand? Who are you? He's a doctor. Yes, can you stop now? Yeah. Where do you want me? Um. Shall I show him the ropes and you can put recess? Yes, thank you, Nicole. Okay. I'm Nicole. This is Glass. Here we go. <clears throat> Ben, we'd lock out there. We had to abandon the cars. Just cars, man. Wash your mouth out, woman. Jack, what are you doing? Uh, and Mrs. Clark bolted. I'm just doing what they tell me. Hey, have you seen Lucy and Ali? No. What about Ashley? Is she in the hospital? I don't know. You're not going back out there. I've got a bike, remember? Drew, you don't know where to look. I promise to come. Hey, where's Boyd? He was with us. Oh, he must have got separated. I'm sorry, but Boyd's on his own. We've got a hospital to sort. Finn's right. Right, um, where do you want us? You, me, ED, and Tita. Yeah. Uh, we can help, Chris. Well, except for Nick, he's useless in a crisis. I'm good with double entry. <laughs> Bookkeeping. Yeah, well, the phone's pretty patchy, but uh, you've had calls from the Ministry, uh, the Civil Defence, and the uh, Ambassador. All right, just give me a second. I could get Harper. She'll be swamped. <coughs> Frank, could you help the orderly? Yeah, I've got jobs wrong. You two, keep an eye on the waiting room and talk to people. Keep their spirits up. Leave it to me. Us. Mainly me. Yeah, what about the desk? Under control. Marge. Marge! Happy birthday, Christopher. Now, off you pop. You should be in bed. Are you talking back to me? Me? You see new and high-waisted pleated trousers. <laughs> Come on, handsome. Is Chris all right? Not really. I'll keep an eye out. Come on, get up. Uh, Taku Wai Wai. What? Taku Wai Wai. Don't speak English. My leg. Give me a hand. Ah! Sorry. Oh, you guys 
guys okay? Hey. You know it hurts your legs, crap. No, hey, fire! Oh crap! We gotta get you out. Katsy, put that fire out first. How? I don't know. Smother it. Throw water on it. Something. Are you okay? <clears throat> uh, have you got a first aid kit? Have we even got one? In the bathroom cupboard. Okay, I'll be back. Hang tight. Yeah, I'm not going anywhere. Me neither, bro. Is volcanic ash toxic? It's certainly inconvenient. Who cares? Don't get me started about the traffic. You killed hawks. I didn't touch him. Then where is he? Tell me he's okay. You're a monster. He didn't understand you. Neither does your family, really. Your future is with me, and it starts now. We're getting picked up in half an hour. Why? We're going to Argentina. What? Or Ecuador, if you prefer. We can discuss it in the car. I'm not going anywhere with you. The net is closing on me, Sarah. And I'm not going down for Cochrane's murder. But you did it, didn't you? Why are we having this conversation? You told me you weren't a killer, and I actually believed you. I'm a businessman. You can't run from what you've done. I'm not fleeing. I'm folding. I don't bet on bad cards. They'll hunt you down. Not if they think I'm dead. What? Lost to the volcano. You want to fake your own death? Not just me. What about Jasper? He'll move on. You're my wife. I made a promise to keep you safe, and I intend to keep that promise. You don't care about me. I care about you more than anyone else on this planet. Now, why don't you pour us some drinks and pull yourself together? Is Will that work? Yeah. How do you know? What if we run out of oxygen? We won't. We'll be fine. Uh, Ali. What is it? No, I think my contractions are getting slower. Yeah? Yeah, I think so. Okay, good. Can you walk? Where? There'll be a house nearby. We can make for that. No, but the gas has nearly knocked you out before. Yeah, but it's heavier than air. So if we... If we keep our heads above it and then keep our mouths covered, we should be okay. Are you sure? We can do this. My baby has not been born in a car. Oh! oh. Want another contraction? No, my water's just broke. Oh, no. Yes, our baby is being born in a freaking car! How are we doing? Uh, we're coping for now. Nice work, by the way. Thanks. Harper. Mum. Are you okay? Chris isn't coping, the poor dear. What are you doing out of bed? Now, I've got the front desk covered, uh, but he's going to need a helping hand. You're working. Oh, keep up. You're worse than Nick. Can I steal you? I'm needed here. Uh, five minutes? A multiple status two has just arrived. Mudge, I can't. Look, I can cover for you. We're already one down. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you, would you go back to bed? I I'll make sure she gets there. She, the cat's mother. Come on. Anything better? I let myself in. Is Sarah seen? Passports. Leaving. For good? Yeah. Finally. I'm so sick of this town. I'm coming with you. Sarah won't cut. She never does. She's not like us. She's learning. She's a liability. How long before she pops into a phone booth to check how Daddy's doing? Or buys a fancy frock on her old credit card? She's my wife, and I'm taking her with me. She's a whiny bitch, and you never should have married her. Careful. If I told her all the things you've done, she'd run screaming from this building. But you wouldn't. You'd thank me eventually. You think you know what's best for me? I always have. You and me. Meant to be. Yes. No. You'd choose her? I already have. Yes. 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 Yes.
see anything. Come away from the window. It's as safe as the rest of the Michael, house. just... I was right about the pyroclastic flow, wasn't I? Oh, yes, but that doesn't mean it's coming our way. Which is lucky, because no one can survive a superheated wave of gas and rock that moves at 700 kilometers per hour and glows red like the eye of Sauron. Oh, dear God. I told you all this before. Yes, but that's before I knew it was true. But you knew it was coming, right? What? Well, your special powers. Well, I didn't cause this. I put a curse on the party, but that doesn't I mean, mean that the I psychic am... powers. Uh, oh. Didn't anyone at the psychic circle see a ginormous eruption coming? Oh, now you come to mention it. No. Uh, did you hear that? What? The sound of my faith shattering in a million pieces? It's chops. No, it's not. It is. Shh. It is. It's chops. Oh, that dreadful woman. I'm going to get him. No, you are not. Well, I can't leave him out there. Oh, 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 yes, I know, Michael. Oh, oh dear, dear. Oh, dear, Mama. Mummy. Oh, the one, baby. Block it all out. Keep breathing. Focus on what we practiced. Ah! Ah! Hey, 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 it's okay. Look at me. Look at me. It's getting worse out there. Look what we're in here. It's me, you, and our baby girl. We're gonna meet her soon. No, I don't want her to come into the world like this. Oh, she's coming, baby. <laughs> Everything is gonna be okay, okay? You can do this. Can I? Yeah, of course you can. I am right here. So that leaves me with civil defence. We should be lying in bed, not running the hospital. Mm, that's two of us. Marge, you're exhausted. Possibly a need. Yeah, you do look tired. I told you I'm fine. I was only trying to help. But if one's help isn't needed... If you want to help... No, no. Are you sure? Wouldn't want to ruffle feathers. Chris is right. You should be in bed. Always helping people, aren't you? My son Stuart's the same. Doctor's curse, I guess. You know, he's just getting over a nasty divorce. I'm sorry. Oh, it's all for the best. She was Republican. <laughs> I see. You're not married. I'm engaged, I think. Oh, sounds complicated. Yeah, relationships are. Not the good ones. Now, you and Stuart should have dinner, talk over your problems. You'd have a lot in common. I, I would love to, but I, I can't. Give you Look, there is no, no need. There's no need. Just get it. Won't take a minute. Marge, I, I, I really Hold on. to go. Here it is. Here it is. Plus one, two, oh, six. That's rude. Emergency generator will kick in any second now. Oh dear. On arrival. Um, have you seen Stuart? Um, recess? Oh, Finn, I don't have a doctor on the floor. Sorry, we got there. a bleeder in theatre. I shut from exploding rocks. You're needed as well, Colin. Nicole. Oh. Don't look at that cell side. Um, get him on this bed and I'll get a doctor. Um, okay. Can you please cut his shirt for me? air entry, possible bilateral pneumothorax. Are you sure? No, but it looks like he's had a crush injury to his chest. Oh, a rock, maybe. But he'll arrest if we don't do something. Yeah, I'll have to do a needle for it. Cost me. Well, can nurses do that? This one can. Can you get me a needle, please? 16 gauge. Where's all the doctors? Busy. What, all of them? Can you hold that for me? Keep on Nothing. What are we going to do? Um, we have to wait for Stuart to get out of recess. Chest train. What? You know how they're done, right? Oh, I'm not qualified. Yeah, but you can do them. Yeah, it's not that simple. It's, if we wait for a doctor, he's going to die. Uh, Nicole! Yeah, get me a chest drain pack and a scalpel. You just stay there, darling. I'm going to go and find Michael. Good boy. How bad can it be? Condor's trumpet, sound off. Over. Damo? Condor's trumpet. Condor's trumpet. Where the hell are you? Over. Oh, Damo. Oh, Damo. Uh, it's me. I'm at home. 
Demo! Got to say over, oh, over. Then. For the love of... <laughs> Michael's missing! Over. What? He went outside looking for chops. Chops is outside? He is. I'm coming over. No, no, Damo, it's too dangerous. Don't come over. Don't come over. Over. A couple of houses on fire and everything smells really good. I guess. Probably. <coughs> we gotta go. We gotta get him out first. No, we should go find help and come back. I'm not leaving him. Can you smell that? <laughs> Stay standing up. The gas is heavier than the air, so it's worse down low. <coughs> I feel weird. <coughs> it's working. <coughs> Leroy, can you hear me? <coughs> come here, help me move him. Ashley! <coughs> Ashley, get up! <coughs> Mason? You okay? Yeah, I'm just packing. What's this? I thought we should celebrate. I don't think we have time anymore. I guess not. We're on the run now. Not if we play this right. You mean if everyone thinks we're dead? Exactly. Your son, my family. They'll get over it. Are we celebrating or not? What's wrong? Nothing. Something. I'm allowed to be upset. You're asking me to give up everything I love. Not everything. No. I know it seems cruel, but that's life. You just do what you have to, to survive. You're right. To freedom. That's my girl. Hello? If you can hear me, don't worry. I'm sure there are lots of people worse off than me. But I am not panicking. I mean, I, I did. Last time I was trapped in this lift. But then I had a dicky tummy. Whoa, it wasn't pretty. This time, I think I've got a... Oh, a dicky ticker. Service says the spread of the deadly gas is impossible to predict, and since it's colourless and odourless, victims may not know they've been exposed until We're it's safe, too late to seek help. Seventeen. Let's turn it off, eh? That's better. Hello. Stay here. Yes, sir. Dad. Stay there, Tilly. All right. Close the door quickly. Are you okay, Uncle? I'm good. Always not. I don't think he's breathing. Let's get him on his side. Is he breathing? One line is working. Can you get Dr. Mira, please? Uh, never mind. We need an exacerbation of a COPD. You need some limbs. Right. Finally. So did you swear? I didn't have a doctor. She was amazing. He'll need to go to X-ray and then be transferred to HDU. Uh, but did you take Mum back to her room? Uh, not all the way. Why? The nurse just called. They can't find her. Where'd you last see her? She was by the lift. Is it working now? What do you mean? It's been out of commission since so power cuts. I should have stayed with him. I'll find her. I'm coming with you. But we need you here. Five minutes. Harper! Can you get Mary now, please? Are you okay? Oh, I do not have time for that. Okay, I'll deal with him. Hey, the gas is outside. You're safe me. Michael's gone missing. What? When? No time for questions. I need your bike to get to the house. No, no, I'm going home now. Don't you want to tell Nick? Maybe say goodbye in case we, you know, die? <laughs> Ashley! Don't talk, okay? Just breathe. Blue. <coughs> Just breathe. Leroy. What? Leroy! <coughs> All right, mate. That's all right, buddy. Hey, I got you. <coughs> 
Look, it's okay. Just look at me. Oh, the baby is coming. Oh, screw this. I'm getting you to the hospital. What? You can't even get out the window. Sit back. Oh, Ali. If I could just get out of this stupid traffic. Oh, oh, oh. No contraction? No, she's coming. I need a push. Right. No, 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 no. She's coming loose. No, no, no. You have no, no choice, Luce. No, I'm so scared. But you're strong, okay? And I love you. And everything is going to be OK. We're going on a boat. Well, the planes are grounded. Did you not see the giant volcanic death cloud out there? Oh. Think, woman. Even if we could fly, you couldn't front up to the airport with me. The crooked million dollar mayor. We should go. Drink. What have you. Drive me. Betray me. No. Laura! You threatened my family. Didn't drink enough. You lose. You got your goons to kill hawks because you're too gutless to do it yourself. Come in. I wouldn't go in there. Good afternoon, Shorten Street Hospital. You're supposed to say Kyoto. It's an eruption. So? Bit of a headache or blood squirting out your eyes? Nick! Speak up. Can't hear you over the missus. Oi! Kia ora, Shortland Street Hospital. Hello? Where's Marge and Jack? Oh, no idea. It's all go here, Chris. It's chaos. Nah, we're dumping people into three groups. Sick, super volcano sick, and just plain annoying. You're in pain? I would. Uh, just heartburn. You know I get gassy. Get it checked. No, 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 no. We're too busy for that. Busy erupting. It's all the curry puffs she crammed in at the party. <laughs> Take a load off. Coffee guts up, Dr. Ruby. What'd you say? Frank, thanks for pitching in. I can't get a hold of Sass. Uh, oh, yeah, the phones keep cutting out. You're freaking useless. The last time I saw she was safe at home. With Mason? Uh, no, he left, I think. You think? Meryl Judy, state of emergency. I don't know. It's all hands on deck at the moment. But no hands helping Sass. What do you want me to do, Frank? Look, if Sass does something stupid, it's not her fault, right? Her dickhead husband had it coming. What are you talking about? Michael! Mountain monster stirs again. Michael! You think we'll get lava? Just shut up and help. You can't shut up and yell out. Michael! And breathe. That's master good, aren't they? Michael! Drew getting to get them cheap. Michael! Tops! Stuff the dog is my son we're looking for. Dad! Michael! You can do this. Oh Push him. No. Push for our little baby girl. I want my mom. I want Rachel. I'm sorry, babe. You're stuck with me. I'm stuck in a car. I'm stuck to the sea. I'm stuck to the sea. And who's giving birth? Me or the dumb volcano? Breathe, damn you. Nothing. Well, partial airway obstruction. Cough it up, Boyd. Here we go. Nothing at all? Some barely. What are you thinking? Right, let's get him up. That might work. Might. You got a better idea? Will Uncle Boyd die? No, dummy. Let's go. Go. Dad. Not now, bub. Again? <coughs> It's okay, mate. It's okay, mate. Boys, where are you? Finally. Eve, are you okay? Oh, where's Boys? There's anyone. It's chaos. Um, can you can you stay here? Uh, can you find him a nurse, please? Get him straight to X-ray and then to HDU. 
I know it's been a long day. I just come from the mountain. What? No way. The rocks came alive, the sky fell. Eve, do you know where you are? This is a purge. It's a cleansing fire. Only the strong will survive. Is it the volcanic gas going to her brain? No, everything's changed. I need Boyd. Can you get her a bead? Uh, what about him? Um, I'll deal with him. And can you find Vinny, please? I need a nurse here in triage. And I need one to transfer my patient. Hey? Whoever he is, I need a nurse. Where's Sass? Nurse! Mum! Mum? Okay, hang on, Mum, we're coming. <laughs> Mum, what happened? In China. Can we get the duty in. Okay. Oh, what are you doing? You should be in ED. Oh, shush you. <laughs> shush yourself. Wasting time. Honestly, I'll fall in a lift. There's a volcano erupting, in case you haven't noticed. Oh, you don't say. Oh, cheeky. Look, get you some GTN and you'll start to feel a lot better. Oh, I wish I wasn't leaving things and... It's such a mess. You are not leaving us. Stuart, he's... he's lonely. Stuart is fine. Chris is not himself. And the hospital's suffering. Let's just worry about you, OK? Mum? Yeah. Oh. Mm. No, my funeral. Mum, don't. Just a plain wicker casket. And carry to Karnawa, of course. You're not dying, OK? Anything but for Kari am I. I mean, Kerry's good, but she's no Sir Howard. Marge, you are going to be OK. Oh, I'm not ready. I mean, I've got too much to do. Okay, Sarah, because he won't bite. She's dead. Honey, you're missing the eruption. I arranged it especially for you. The whole mountain, putting on a show just for you. Self-centered, ungrateful, backstabbing daddy's little princess of nothing. You're nothing! Not without me! Sarah? Go away! I can't do that. I tell everyone you died. It's way more believable than both of us dying. Think about it. Mason? Oh, my God! Oh, oh, oh. He's OK, he's OK. Michael, talk to me. Say something. Sorry. Oh, no, that's OK, love. I couldn't find him. Where was he? He was outside looking for Diane's damn <coughs> Harsh? Just breathe for me, buddy, breathe. I can smell that killer gas. Can you? You can't. It's odorless. In high concentrations, the low doses will fry your kidneys. Dang, Damo. Shh. Hey, not all big, musty superheroes. No body fat. I'm pinching back a panic poo. Oh, chops. Hey, hey, forget about him. Okay. He'll die. Hey, hey, hey. It's shh. better the dog than us, okay? Dad! No, no, shh, shh. We've got masks now. You'll yeah. be okay. The only place you're going to go is the hospital, all right? Yeah, please. No, 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 no. There's nothing we can do against a volcano. I'll go. No, Damo! I made a promise to you, to the boy. Damo, no! Don't try and stop me. Hey, hey, hey. What, what are you, crazy? You are no hero. If I die, for the love of God, wipe my browser history. Okay, okay, now start panting. Okay, the head's out. The head's out. One more push. I can't. You can, Lucy, you can do it. Okay, she's out. What is it? Is she okay? She's beautiful. Stand up. Yeah. <coughs> Get Ashley on the bike. What about Leroy? There's no room for Leroy. But... I'll come back for him. He's fine. Can you drive? Yeah. 
Blue, get to the hospital and get some help. How? Take the bike. You're kidding. Can you drive? No way! Drew, I can't drive a motorbike. You're gonna have to. Tell me where my sister is or I'll rip your head off and spit down your neck. I said I don't know. You know everything, Dan. You do her husband's dirty work. And he pays me, not you. Where is she? Mate, I'm in pain. I want a nurse. I want to know what you know. Nothing. Bullshit. Where is she? The Pacific's a big bloody ocean. What do you mean? <laughs> the boss is bailing him and your sister are grabbing a boat. What boat? His boat. Where? Sarah? Sorry if I scared you. I lost it a bit before. I blame the drugs. Do you forgive me, Sarah? Because I forgive you. Sarah? Uh, God, Mason. I'm bleeding. I'm sorry. Don't buy it. I need you. Sarah? The windows are locked. Nowhere to go but hell. How are you feeling now? Better. Sore. Well, that's normal. And nothing for you to worry about. I'm not worried, dear. I'm ready. For what, Mum? You know I've got a DNR on my file. Hey. Just want to make sure she knows, just in case. Mum. You are not going anywhere, Marge. Love. You find it very hard to let go, don't you? Get some rest, OK? Hope you're going to think her properly. Yes, Mum. She is grateful. Well, you don't do it for the thanks. Are you OK? Yeah, I just... That's... That's strange to think of... Life without mum in it, you know? Hey, she's. She's not going anywhere. No, oh, thanks to you. Trying to impress me, it's all my fault. Well, it's his fault for going out there for no reason. Alone, lost in the dark, choking. Yeah, he's got a mask on. Yeah, the one that leaks. It's all my fault. Damo's dead. He's not dead. With the volcano blowing, I did that too. Now you're sounding like a lunatic. Well, I cursed the party. Leanne, hey, you didn't piss off the mountain, all right? But now you're scaring Michael, so can you please pull yourself together? Oh, yeah, sorry. I'm not scared for me. I'm scared for Charles. Yes, and poor, silly, useless, dumb Damo! Yeah, what are you doing? I'm going to save her. Yeah, forget it. Let me go! Oh, no! Damon! Stop! Charles! You saved him! I made a promise. No! I love you. I love you too. And I love you three. I um I, I can't cut the umbilical cord, it's not sterile. Yeah, I know we can do it at the hospital. Yeah, we have to get there first. <clears throat> Residents are urged to remain indoors as emergency services work to clear roads still stuck. and re-establish communications. You're gonna have to the deliver the placenta. I know. And then when the phones start working again, I'll call an ambulance and you can just hope that it gets through before another arrangement. Oh, stop. Get off the road. Make sure. 
Who cares about some dumb volcano? You can get to this thing. Look. Number two, stay off the phone. As tempting as it might be, to call your friends and loved ones at these terrifying moments. The best thing you can do at the moment is to keep the cell phone network for those who need the most. Is to stay Happy off birthday, the little one. Where are you, Sarah? Where's that pretty little chinny chin chin? <laughs> Yeah, we uh, found Mum. Oh, she right? Yeah, she's good as gold. Nice to dodge with Whitby and a magic kiss of life. <laughs> Pounce your mouth. No, not much. Who? Point me to a place, will you? Uh, keep a cook back. Thanks. What was that? Don't know. It's not we're in a crisis and you're going to just somewhere in then. Hey. What about Joe? Back off. Back off. Sorry, I'm stressed about money. Hey. Actually, what happened? The house got wrecked. Gas got in. It's okay, don't call. Just over here. <laughs> Drew. Drew? He saved us. He gave us masks. Is he here? Where the hell is he? Like Vivian. You killed my brother. I'm a mountain, Sarah. Sometimes I explode. You killed my brother! <laughs> Thank God the bombs are still flashing. What's wrong? I'm scared, Nick. I mean, all of these horrible injuries. You... Dying. What do you expect? It's a hospital. It's a, a dark and dangerous and volcano crazy world out there. What if we never see our kids again? We will. Who's gonna look after our babies? <laughs> There's like six of them. Five. And they're huge. Terrors of Taranaki, they'll be fine. Are we gonna be fine? Motorway off ramp's been cleared. What, more patients coming? Yeah, by the sooty truckload. Stop! Oh, wait, wait! Steve! <laughs> no tears. Today is a day of joy. What are you talking about, Eve? What's the just that rip on a million people? Boy, I thought you were dead. Well, I've been dead my whole life. It's the um, volcano, I guess. Oh, I said dead, not deaf. It's a mountain, boy. The deep Dionysian truth. Come on, mate, let's get a check. First surgeon? Uh, we might need to tune up first. It's a rock shrapnel. It's like a war zone. We're getting desperate. Yeah. Esther. Uh, I made her stay home, mate. Sorry. But she's safe? She's safe. And Eve's safe as well. Safe and alive. Mason! Coward! Scared of a little girl? The water fence says the wind has changed and the ash cloud is shifting. Oh, so is the traffic now. We've got ambulance inbound. <laughs> oh. So sorry. Oh, it's, it's the curry puffs. It always happens when I'm. Oh, no. Oh, no. no. Oh, no. Why not? It's me. It's Chris Warner. Mate, I don't know you. 
And you got sick on your shoes. But you're dead. Mountains and miracles, babe. Vivian's dead. Lizzie's dead. Who? Frank's dead. Help! Help! Is that your husband? Please, help me. Be careful, he's dangerous. He'll die. Good, die faster. Uh, uh, hey, uh, come on. Uh, better than this. No, I'm not. I'm vicious and gritty like him. Uh, it's not worth going to jail for, you scum. I won't. They'll die from poisonous gas. Another volcano victim. Uh, you stabbed him. Uh, help me get him inside before we all choke to death. No, help me. Sarah, I love you. Shut up. Help me. Shove him over a cliff. He'll be broken and mangled and all the same. No, please. Uh, sir. Stop it, woman. You killed my brother, you bastard. No. What about him now? I'm pregnant as anything! Again! Yes! I'm a sperm volcano! Nick Harrison, you can use the S word at home, but not in a public hospital. This is a disaster! No, Waverly. Earthquakes and eruptions are disasters. But a baby is a mere inconvenience to be loved and cherished for the miracle of life that it is. Oh, Madge, <laughs> you're right. You're always right. We're having a baby! We're having a baby! <laughs> Some things work out by themselves. Says the woman who can't spend five minutes without sticking her nose in. You should be in bed. Wait a sec. Marge. Look. You okay? Blue. Um, oh. I suppose you've been running things here. One does one's best. <laughs> well, I'm here now. I see that. Well, I know I shouldn't have abandoned my post. No, but... no, Leanne. Don't speak. Life's too short and wonderful for regrets. Some birthday party. I was expecting fireworks, but oh, thanks for helping out. Sure. Marge? Mum? Mum? <laughs> she's arrested. Kate, get the D for. Darn it. No. She's DNR. But. It's okay. She was ready to go. She was home.
Alice. Good night. Well, I'm gone.